This video is how to use Arbitrum and MetaMask. We can link Arbitrum to the wallet and then use Ethereum applications. Timestamp for everything down below. First, we're gonna link the Arbitrum network to MetaMask. If you don't have a MetaMask yet, just go to metamask.io and download it. I'll leave a link in the description to a video that goes step-by-step -step through that process, but assuming that you have a MetaMask wallet right here. So what we wanna do is actually go over to arbitrum.io and then we can link the network to our MetaMask that we've got set up. So we can come and click bridge to Arbitrum, links below to this website, by the way. So we can go bridge to Arbitrum here and just click this and it takes us through to the Arbitrum bridge. Now from here, if you have a MetaMask set up, it's actually really easy to just click on one of these networks that you wanna add. So as you can see now, I'm on a Binance Smart Chain, it's not recognized. What we wanna do is just switch to one of these networks. Now, if you don't have these networks in installed on your MetaMask yet, it's just gonna install it straight away. So as of uh, right now, Arbitrum Nova, I'm gonna click on this. And as you can see, it takes me through to here and it says, do you want to add this network and just say approve? I'm gonna cancel just to show you though, but if you have one of the networks already added, for example, switch to Arbitrum, I'm gonna click this and then it just goes through because I've already added this to my MetaMask, I can switch the network now and it switches me over to the Arbitrum network and now I can actually use this bridge. So that's how you add it to your MetaMask. Now, another way to add it to your MetaMask is to go to RBScan. Again, I'll leave this website linked in the description. It's the uh, Blockchain Explorer. If you come down to the very bottom, as you can see here, add Arbitrum one network. Again, that's automatic, so it'll just add all of those details for you. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you can actually add it manually. So if you are in your MetaMask, you can just go to your browser extension, click expand to bring it up to the full page, then click on the options and down to settings right here. Then we go over to the left and click add networks and then you can add a network in the right hand corner. Again, if you don't have it installed, it may just be here to automatically install for you. If it isn't, then go to add a network manually. If you click on this, you can put the details in manually yourself. Now you can go to something like Binance Academy or just uh, go to Google and say, how do I add Arbitrum 1 to MetaMask? And you should see details like this, so you can fill this in. The network, na network name is Arbitrum 1, so you can do that yourself. And then the new RPC URL and chain ID, etc., is going to be here for you. And you just fill that in manually here and then click save and you will add that network to your MetaMask. Then when you're in MetaMask here, you can just very uh, easily click this tab and switch between the networks that you've added. So I've got an Arbitrum right here that I'm on. So click that, you'll be on the Arbitrum network and then you can use the blockchain. Next, we need to get some Ethereum out into our MetaMask wallet to pay for gas fees. Now, Arbitrum, as of making this video, does not have a token, and so any Arbitrum tokens are fake for now. They may have plans in the future to bring a token to market, but for right now, they do not have any token, and Ethereum is used to pay for gas fees. So you need some Ethereum in your Arbitrum wallet in order to pay for gas, and so we're gonna withdraw that now. Now, I use uh, Bybit for this one because not only do they let you withdraw Ethereum, on the Arbitrum network. They actually also let you withdraw US dollar tether directly to the Arbitrum network as, as well, which a lot of exchanges don't. So I'm just going to show you an example here. We need some ETH to pay for gas fees. So we're gonna go over to ETH right here and click withdraw, and then we'll go to the withdraw screen. Now from here, all we have to do is get our MetaMask wallet up or any other wallet that you're using to connect to the Arbitrum network and just click our um, address right here. So I'm going to copy that and then uh, paste it in. Now I can enter the address just like that. And then the chain type, I want to choose Arbitrum 1. So that is going to go through. Now I can choose the amount of ETH that I want to send over right there. And that will go over to our network on the Arbitrum chain. So the wallet address is actually going to be the same wallet address that you see for your Ethereum mainnet. Um, but we are using Arbitrum 1. So it's the same address, but make sure that you choose Arbitrum 1 as the chain that you want to use when you're withdrawing from an exchange because that's the only way it'll go through to your actual, actual Arbitrum 1 blockchain wallet rather than the Ethereum mainnet wallet. So just go through with that transaction. A quick note here for Ledger hardware wallet users as well. If you're using a Ledger and you want to actually use the Arbitrum network, you can do this. The way you do it is actually just using the Ethereum account in your wallet. So on Ledger, you download applications for each blockchain. You will not be able to find an Arbitrum application or account on your Ledger device. But what you can do is just open your Ethereum 
application to actually withdraw to. So the address is exactly the same as I said, but if you withdraw on the Arbitrum network, it will be on the Arbitrum network under your Ethereum address. Now, when you use your hardware wallet to sign transactions as well, you can open the Ethereum application there and use it with MetaMask just like normal. And so there's no Arbitrum specific app. You actually just use the Ethereum app and then within your MetaMask, you're actually having it on the Arbitrum network itself. So I'll show you uh, how that works in a second. But if you do have a Ledger hardware wallet, you cannot find Arbitrum on there, but it's just using Ethereum. And then make sure that your assets are actually on the Arbitrum network and not the Ethereum network when you withdraw them from the exchange. How to bridge tokens from Ethereum mainnet over to Arbitrum networks. We can come back to Arbitrum.io and then click bridge to uh, Arbitrum. And this goes over to the Arbitrum bridge right here. So you can actually switch um, assets from Ethereum mainnet over to the Arbitrum networks uh, via here if you have assets already. So let's come over to the Ethereum mainnet so we can actually switch over to mainnet right here. And it's just going to switch that in your MetaMask and then it's going to search for assets that you have. So if you have some Ethereum, as you can see, I've got some ETH in there. So I'm going to choose an amount, so 0.05. And then it's going to ask me where do I want to bridge those assets to. So I can choose either uh, Arbitrum 1, which I am on now, or Arbitrum Nova, if you want to use that chain as well. And on the right hand side, you just get a summary. So as you can see here, you do have to pay gas fees for this $8 right now, which is a bit of a hit, of course. Um, so you would, you would just move funds to Arbitrum 1, click here, move funds, and then the MetaMask will pop up in the right hand corner. Just check the details and the gas and press OK. And that will bridge ETH over from mainnet over to Arbitrum 1. Now that's going to take around about 10 minutes or so. Um, you can actually check on RBScan as well that that has gone through, but it will take about 10 minutes to move it over. Now, if you want to move assets from Arbitrum 1 back to the mainnet, then you can just switch, of course. So we're going to go Arbitrum 1 here. It's going to switch me back over to the uh, Arbitrum network. And then it says, do you want to switch back to mainnet? And so you can do that here. You can see I've not got any assets on the Arbitrum network, but you can choose an amount and it's going to give you a summary again. Now you're going to have to pay gas fees again on the uh, Ethereum network. What you might want to do is actually quicker and easier in some cases is just to send your ETH from the mainnet over to an exchange. And then from the exchange, use that as a bridge uh, and then just withdraw on RB because Arbitrum fees are extremely low anyway, and you may pay a lower fee just sending ETH rather than using the bridge. So at the current time, what you can do is go over and get your MetaMask up and just see what the gas fees are for sending a transaction. Um, so we can go to send right here if you are on the Ethereum mainnet. So we'll just switch that. We can go to send right here and then choose an address of your exchange put that in here and see what the gas fees would be. If the gas fees are cheaper than the bridge, I would just send it over to an exchange and then use the exchange as the bridge to then withdraw over on the Arbitrum network because that's going to be very cheap, like 30 cents or so to send out from the exchange over to your Arbitrum account. Also a quick note, if you do want to withdraw from the Arbitrum network back to the main net, it may take up to seven days to actually go through. And so you're going to have to wait for that. Uh, so that's why actually using an exchange can be a lot quicker because if you want to send from Arbitrum directly into an exchange, then you can withdraw that through any other network instantly without having to wait that seven days for the actual blockchain based bridge. RBScan is Arbitrum's blockchain explorer. So if you want to see all of the tokens that you have in your account, uh, and all of the transactions, just in case something hasn't gone right and you can't see the tokens, you can come to RBScan. Just put your wallet address in here at the top. I've just clicked one of these to show you what a sample wallet would be like from the latest transactions. But it's exactly the same as Etherscan. So you can see all of the tokens on the Arbitrum network. You can see your address up here. You can see the tokens that you have in your blockchain account on Arbitrum right here as well. And then all of the transactions, as you can see, we can go to ERC20 token transactions. Again, these are all the, fu uh, the fungible tokens that you will be sending around. So you can see the in and out right here. If you're sending it from an exchange, you should, should be able to see an in inward bound um, transaction from the exchange. If you're sending it out to your exchange, you should be able to see that and the token on the right hand side. ERC721 tokens are NFTs, as you can see. So you should be able to see them right here. 
And if anything hasn't gone through or you can't see it gone through on your wallet application, just look at these transactions and it will all be here for you to see. Now, if you can't find a token in your MetaMask, maybe um, you, you, know, you can't see it in the account, you can actually check on Arbiscan and see that the tokens are right here, right here in, in ERC20 tokens. Or what you can do is come down to your wallet. We're gonna switch this over to Arbitrum here. And what we need to do is just add those tokens to our MetaMask because sometimes MetaMask doesn't pick up. So we can come to import tokens here and then you need the contract address. On Arbitrum, all of the tokens have different addresses than on the Ethereum mainnet. So you have to make sure you're adding the correct one. So if we come over to CoinGecko and then choose a currency that we know is on the chain, for example, USDT is on the chain, on the right hand corner, we can go and add that to our MetaMask. So I'm just gonna bring MetaMask up here. But what you can see is that this is the Ethereum contract. So I'm just gonna copy that and then bring my MetaMask up. And I'm gonna try and paste it in here because I'm on the Arbitrum network. So we go down to import tokens and then paste that in. As you can see, it says this address is known on the Ethereum mainnet, but it's not on the Arbitrum network. So what we can do is just cancel that out and then go over to the dropdown box and find the Arbitrum one contract. Click this to copy, go over to our MetaMask again, and it should be able to recognize it now. So we're gonna import those tokens and then paste that in. And it says USDT, so it's recognized that. We can add that as a custom token, click import, then go back out to our MetaMask and you should see that added now. So if that's added, any balances that you have on Arbitrum should now show. But if you can't see anything on your MetaMask, doesn't mean it's not there. Actually use Arbiscan and you should be able to see all of the tokens in real time as they are in your wallet. How to use applications with the Arbitrum network? Well, it depends which Arbitrum network that you want to use. Again, on Arbitrum.io, uh, we can come to either the Arbitrum network here, Discover Apps, or the Nova network right here. Now, the Nova network is more for games, as you can see here, Arbitrum Nova. So you can look at the portal, see these applications, and maybe click on one that you want to use. You can see more details about it. And it goes over to the token. What we're gonna do is look at the Arbitrum One portal, which is more a kind of Ethereum replacement. So, you know, cheaper, but you have DeFi on here and most of the apps that you'll know are on here like Aave, One Inch. Um, so we can go through to those. Uh, what we'll do is go to Uniswap though, just to show you as an example. So we can go to launch app and all you have to do is make sure that you're connected to Arbitrum. So come to the Arbitrum network, it is supported here. Click on that and then press connect. MetaMask if you have a MetaMask and it should be up in the top right hand corner. Now again, if you have a Ledger hardware wallet, you need to be on, in your Ethereum application when you are linked to MetaMask and that will enable you to sign those transactions, but it will be on the Arbitrum network. So what we can do now is just choose you know, an amount of tokens that we wanna switch, uh, choose what you wanna switch into and it's gonna give you those details. Now all we have to do is just press trade and it's gonna come up in the right hand corner to you know, confirm that trade and also give us the gas fees. Gas fees should be very low right here. You can check that and just press continue and that's gonna go through on the Arbitrum network and those, uh, those assets will be swapped. Again, if you have a ledger, just connect that with your Ethereum app um, and sign the transaction on the Arbitrum network. Other helpful videos on this topic are listed down in the description. Buy a bit deposit bonus down there as well. I'm James with MoneyZG, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.